Hello, friends. Sorry, I uh, started recording and then my wife hand delivered me some sweet potato fries. Um, so that is absolutely delightful in every way. I'm gonna rearrange my little desk here. So I apologize, I might be nibbling on a few fries as we go, but that is okay. Um, today is a great day because we are pretty much done EV training the squad. I have Starmie, Bagon, and Beldum. They all have 200 EVs in the stat that I want to... Oh, what's up, Cry? Good to see you today. Um, they all have 200 in the stat that I want them to. I just missed a notification I just saw. Sorry. Um, but, uh... We have that. So now we're just going to do some regular old training. We're going to do some regular old, plain old leveling up, man. So here, so far, we have Stevie the Matang. So far, this is his moveset. It's definitely going to change. We've got Harry Jr. the Starmie. Thunderbolt and Surf, definitely going to stay. Other things will change. And then finally, we have Arrow the Shellgon. Flamethrower and Dragon Dance we were planning on keeping, but other things, once again, will change. And it looks like um, everyone in our squad needs to get 17 or 18 levels to get to the point where we need to. Now, one of the places I want to do that is here in the Trick House. We have done, I think... Oh, hi, Tainro. Okay, now I'm seeing you. Uh, first time chats. Thanks for being here. Yes. Yes, you are a frequent commenter over on YouTube. I appreciate that very much. Sorry, I'm nibbling. I will try not to talk with food in my mouth too much, so... If I'm pausing a little more than usual, that's why. <laughs> okay. You have been following the series. I appreciate you. Alrighty. So. Let's stop in, this, in the trick house. I feel like we can do pretty much everything. Where is the sparkle going to be here? Ah! There, by the plant. Hello, sir. All right. So, we have done the first challenge here in the Trick House. And uh, there are a bunch of challenges that we can do and to obtain quite a few items. And as you can see, most of the items on the ground are just going to be different kinds of mail. Like that, for example, is a wave mail. Pardon me while I eat. <laughs> so here, we have to step on some little switches to activate the trap doors that are going. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the levels are definitely going to be a bit behind us. At least to start. We have a lot of different trick house challenges we can do and trainers to face inside. Um, just because you're kind of supposed to do this throughout the game. Fusion. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I usually don't like to eat when I'm doing this, but I was still so hungry. And we, our dinner kind of went long. We were cooking some sweet potato fries, and I'm like, I need to eat a little more. Um, so, what I was saying with the trick house here is more challenges open up 
as you collect more badges throughout the game. So now that we have all eight badges, we can do every trick house challenge. Um, so as soon as we finish this one, we can challenge the next one and so on. Can't go wrong with fries. You are so correct about that. So, so correct. I might not pick up all these mails. Oh, there's a harbor mail. You can trade that for a coin case. <laughs> um, excuse me, sorry. So we can get to the little scroll thing over here where you have to put in the inscription. Um, but we have to get to the scroll first. So we won't be able to unlock it until we get to the scroll. There we go, perfecto. I just figured this would be a fun way to pick up some levels. Okay, we'll have to fight him eventually. Ralt is about to, oop, I'm not trying to run. I'm trying to do the Shadow Ball. There we go. Mmm. That Ralt is deader than dead. Just the one. Alright. So that's going to open up the switch down by that trainer, yes. I'll speed here just a titchel. There we go. I'll still hum. Mm -hmm. My wife is a very big maker of homemade fries, which I appreciate. Oh, uh, let's see. <laughs> That's actually interesting. I I have never played Stardew Valley. I don't really know much about it. Um, I have just heard a little bit. And it seems like something that I might be into. I don't know if I'll be into it, but maybe. Never say never. Oh, man. I could never, I could never run out of ideas of things to do. All right. So as you can see, that just unlocked that last little panel there. So we can finally talk to the scroll. Uh-oh. Sorry, I'm controlling with my other hand while I eat. Are you a big uh, Stardew fan, I take it? Oops, there we go. <laughs> Farming in a life simulator. Okay. Oh, yeah, dude, I am... I am always open to trying uh, trying some new games. That one seems great. I I really enjoyed like Animal Crossing New Horizons, and that's like I don't know if it plays similar similarly, but it probably has like a similar vibe. Kind of cozy in that way. All right, so now let's talk to this fool. Ah, you've made it to me. You are sharp. So the first time he gives us a rare candy, I'm pretty sure. And this time he gives us a timer ball. Came really in handy when we were catching the Reggies earlier. <laughs> All right. I have completed my fries. Give me like 30 seconds.
All right, I'm back. Thanks, folks, for holding on. Um, ooh, similar with an extra hint of danger. Well, I like that. I like that. Mmm. All right, so that's one trick challenge down. And we have this long hallway. There we go. And it's nice because here we have every HM Pokemon we would ever need with Ziggy, Blaine, and Ventacool. And plus, our Battle Frontier Pokemon are into the 30s now, so they're, they have some battle prowess. All right, let's see where he is this time. There he is. By the dresser. Grr, how did you know I concealed myself in this dresser? Well, because I'm smart. Perfect. Um, all right, so let's see. Yes, uh, the goal is Battle Frontier. We are going up to level 50. Uh, I need Rock Smash immediately. There have been times where I have just entered this room and I'm like, I don't have Rock Smash, and I just have to walk straight back out. <laughs> uh, but this time we did, which is great. Um, so yes, we are trying to get the squad to level 50 for the Battle Frontier. Um, excuse me. Namely, the goal is to get silver symbols at every facility. Um, that might still take a long time. Um, but getting gold symbols at every facility is gonna be, would be just complete and utter torture. What's up, Clo Bingo? How you doing? Good to see you today. Ooh, Harry Jr. is trying to learn Confuse Ray. I mean, Confuse Ray is not going to be in our final move set, but I'll get rid of Water Gun. Um, oh, that's nice. Um, but uh, today was actually a pretty big day for me. Um, actually, tomorrow will be the biggest day because the kids will be coming back to school where I work. Now before, I don't remember how to do this puzzle. It's just gonna be a lot of trial and error. It's still a lot of switches and stuff. Um, but it was just kind of like the last work day to do a few things and talk about a few things before um, the kids come back to school. Which will be good. <laughs> Mother-in-law just got here. I get it, I get it. Um, but uh, yeah, the kids come back to school tomorrow, which will be interesting. Um, there are a lot of new students that we have in my job. Um, because I am a paraprofessional, so I just kind of have like a small roster of kids that I will work with, but I will be primarily working with one. Um, and uh, yeah, it'll be great. Um, I'm excited. I... It has been interesting being back at work this week, having been off the whole summer. Um, but it's been good. Give me, gave me some routine. Uh, but we also, my wife and I, went to see Blink-182 last night, which was super fun, but the only issue with that was I am extremely tired and was extremely tired today, just because... We were out later than uh, than we usually are. Um, the show pretty much ended during my bedtime. Um, let's see. But it wasn't too terribly late. It's not like we got home at 2 in the morning or anything like that. But Still not preferable, I will say. I will say. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see how the kids do tomorrow. Um, we only have two days this week with the students, so back again. Welcome back. Um, yeah, we only have two days of school with the students this week, so, I mean, if it goes terribly, at least it's only two days. Yeah, back to work this week. I, yeah, I was, uh, just doing kind of like meetings and work days and stuff. Um, I'm just gonna leave those items. We're not gonna use those mails. You can in your playthrough if you'd like, but that's not what we're doing. All right. 
Oops, there we go. Now I just gotta scoot skedaddle up here. There we go, that was much easier than I thought it would be. Trickmaster is coveted. Ooh. Um, let me see what he gives us this time. Fine, you have earned this reward. Obtain the hard stone. Okay, that's interesting. Um, a hard stone is a uh, is an item that will increase the power of rock type moves. That would have been useful on our Agron. Um, how do I spell skedaddle? Oh my gosh. Um, probably how you spelled it. That seems right, wouldn't we say? Excuse me. Um, all right, let's go back in. Where is he this time? Okay, here I can't see him. I think he's at the window. One of these windows, maybe? Yes. Um, there we go. Um, <laughs> no, I get that. Um, but yeah, that's, that's probably my instinct. Um, okay, one of these I know is like a quiz thing. And I never, ever remember the answers. Let's see. So I don't need to fight that person up there, but I want to. Because our... It's fun to do the trick houses, because we haven't done them throughout our run, but our main objective is to train the squad. So we gotta make sure we keep doing that. And as you can see with each... Uh, passing level of the trick house that we do, the levels of the opposing Pokemon are, are increasing. Because, um, like I said, the trick house is meant to be something that you kind of do throughout the game. <laughs> Alright. I'll wait to fight her. Do that. Yeah, on this one, you just have to really make sure you don't box yourself into a corner. There we go. So let's fight you, friend. Oh, easy peasy. Our special attack in Starmie is going to take him to the cleaners, man. It really is. Um, so many iconic tracks. Not just in this game, but in just in just all of them. Every Pokemon game that exists, the uh, tracks are just so good. Um, one thing I might do, because we're going to get pretty close to maxing out our Pokemon's EVs in general, but... In this case, I know that Machoke uses, um, uh, gives out attack EVs, rather. So I am happy to swap into Beldum here. Because Starmie, again, is not going to use that attack power whatsoever. Dude, yes, cry. The dive music is just so incredible. That might, that might be one of my favorite tracks in this game, I would say. Um... Oh my gosh, yes, thank you! I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, the Taylor Swift covers I was really happy to do. I I have always loved Taylor Swift. Um, oh, got a rare candy from Ziggy. That is a rare pickup, baby. That is awesome. Love that. Um, that will come in handy later. Um, ah, oh, thank you, Clo. Um, yeah, yeah, that was super fun. I really loved doing that. People seem to really enjoy it, so thank you for listening to it, too. I appreciate that a lot. Um, oh, and here, we actually don't have a good matchup, so let's go into Arrow. I know, I know, no one does. I, uh... I love hard rock and metal music. It's kind of one of those uh, 
contradictions about myself that I find amusing, um, especially when people don't know and it surprises them so much. Um, uh, I got a Mega Drain here. Uh, but yeah, basically anybody who meets me does not expect me to produce or enjoy metal music, but here I stand, or here I sit. Yeah, especially, especially <laughs> multifaceted for sure. Yes, thank you. I didn't see that. Um, yeah, and especially on here because, you know, I'm just all about the good, happy vibes here on Silver Cape Gaming. <laughs> uh, Alright, Trickmaster's cool. So let's pop in here. Ah, you made it to me. And if you've noticed, every time you talk to him after you complete one of his puzzles, uh, like the places in greatness away from him that you are shortens and shortens and shortens. So here, he says, it took me all night to shove in those boulders. You're almost my equal in greatness by one, two, three places. Um, and earlier he was like, one, two, three, four, five places, or whatever. Um, and then toward the end, he'll just say, you're almost my equal in greatness, which is so cool. Um, the smoke ball, that'll help one escape a wild Pokemon. Um, all right, SCG, SC band, that's right. <laughs> that is exactly the vibe. Um, yeah, because also the music that I produce is extremely serious for the most part. Um, and we're not really that serious here when we're just having a good time. I just wanted to sell a few of my items because sometimes, oops, not that one. That was just my reward. I'm just going to sell my X attack and some of these mails. I can buy a Harbor Mail. Uh, okay. Um, Hardstone, I don't know if that'll come in handy. Because, really, my plan with Salamence is for Salamence to know Rock Slide, but there is a world where I pivot to rocks. Sorry. Salamence is going to know Flamethrower. That's what I meant to say. But there is a world where I might try to pivot to Rock Slide. Um, I'll just deposit the Maja Brace too, because we're not really going to use it again. Um, so that Hearthstone could come in handy. How long have I been producing music? Um, I have been writing as Silver Cave since, I mean, I've been writing songs since I was like 18 about. Um, so what's that, 2011? Um, but, uh, I kind of started seriously writing for Silver Cave about 2000s, I mean, all throughout college, I guess. Some of, some of those have wound up on Silver Cave records, but, um, I kind of launched the project full scale in, like, 2017. Um, and I think he's up here when I can't see him. Ooh, maybe not. This, this one. Where is he? Did I miss it? Is he over here? Yes, he is. Um, and so, yeah, I started the project in 2017. Um, my first couple EPs are I did through different producers um, that I hired. Um, but then it kind of became clear to me that I was just not going to be able to afford to keep creating music if I went that route. So... I decided to try to teach myself how to do it. Um, and I'm still not great or anything. It's been a lot of YouTube, some lessons here and there. Uh, but I started producing on my own right at the end of 2021, I think. Um, so I released my first record in 2022 that I self-produced myself. Self-produced myself. Um, but then I actually revamped it and remastered it um, this summer, and now it's uh, more how I would like to hear it. Oh, super fun. Yes, thank you. Um, thank you, Chloe. Um, but yeah, 
Um, I did that. I have self-released a couple of covers. I am working on another EP now, and then another cover after that. So, um, I keep on trucking. I don't know when it'll be out. Maybe this year? Um, I gotta make sure I find some time to finish it up sooner rather than later. Um, I did some stuff over the summer. Anyway, this is where you talk to... He has these, like robots that ask you quiz questions um and you have to get like five or six correct or something and then you can get the secret code one of these pokemon is not the water type this is tricky because azuril evolves into meryl which is a water type but azuril is actually just normal type congratulations correct you are mm. Do I have a preferred software? I absolutely do, seeing as I don't know how to use the other ones. <laughs> I use Logic. Um, I have a Mac computer, that's what I'm using right now. Um, and I really enjoy Logic, it's pretty friendly for someone like myself who has never produced before. Um, which of these Pokemon did Team Aqua use in Petalburg? They use Pucci. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's what I use. Um, I'm sure, you know, a lot of the other softwares are good. I know people use Ableton or uh, whatever. Um, but uh, I use Logic. Um, yes, yes. It has a very, very user-friendly interface, and that's kind of Apple's whole deal. Uh, three harbor mails or one burn heal? Oh, I always forget this. I forget how much a harbor mail is. Um... Is it like 50 bucks? Yes, okay, great. So the burn heal is more expensive. So I gotta get two more right. I know there's a couple more that are tough that I always forget. Um, object of beauty. In seashore house, were there more men or women? I mean, probably men. Okay, great. That's just what every piece of fiction does, I feel. There's always more men than women. Um, all right, can I save before this? I would love that. Yeah, I'm gonna do that, because I might forget this. Because when you lose, they all like bzz, freak out and then you have to start over, which I hate. Um, all right, the master's best and proudest achievement am I. Mecha Doll 5 quiz in Fortree City. How many tree houses were there? I'm almost positive there's, almost positive there's six. Because I think there's two, and then four. Almost positive there's six. Yeah! Let's go, baby! I got them all right the first try. That never happens. Um, okay, good. Trickmaster is a genius. Um, so we didn't really get any training done. <laughs> Let's see. So yes, you're almost my equal in greatness by one or two places. Ooh, TM12. I forget what this is. I think it's Torment. I'm not sure. I'm actually going to check because in this game they introduce the moves Taunt and Torment. And I always forget, um, excuse me, what each of them does. Yes, this is Taunt. Enrages the foe so it can only use attack moves, yes. So if you use Taunt, they can't use any move like that doesn't do damage like Hypnosis or Screech or whatever. Um, Torment makes it so that you can't use the same move twice in a row. So those are th uh, things that I always mess up, but uh, I'm trying to remember now, I guess. <laughs> um, Alright, there should just be one or two more Trick House challenges. Um, so let's get them done. How many supers do I have? I have five. Let's pop one arrow there. Lovely. All right. This one, where is he here? Okay, here, I think he's in here. Yes. Because I couldn't see him. Yeah, you're almost out of hiding places, homie. Let's see. All right. Ah, so yes, this is the one where the puzzle is like the four tree gym, which is a little bit annoying. Oops. 
Oh, what am I doing? There we go. Okay. <laughs> I was about to lose my mind there for a second. Um, all right, let's fight you. And yeah, they are actually above us in level right now, so we must tread carefully. Yeah, and I think the last challenge, they're in like the low 40s, kind of like what you would encounter in the last gym. Um... Let's see, because I think the last one functions a lot like Tate and Liza's gym. Um, where there are some kind of warp panels about. Let's see. Ah, Grass Whistle, that's annoying as crap. Alright, come on. Let's just heal that up. Oh, okay, I was about to say, that is a critical hit. Guys. Guys. Alright, well, I didn't want to have to do this. But I'm going to have to punish you for your misdeeds here, Roselia. There we go. <laughs> uh, oh, you never did the Riddle Trick House run. Very interesting. Um, there we go. And I got a heal bag on again. Um, yes, oh man, that, uh, the kind of robo-quiz, uh, trick house I, I hate. Um, I kind of notoriously hate that one. Um, let's get this going. And we're finally getting some money. Um, oh yeah, there are... are quite a few and I think the we had only done one so I think in this episode we're gonna do all of them other than one um, which is fun do, do, do. what you got you got a cat turn I should be able to do some flamethrower stuff on you um, the only problem with arrow is that as a shell gun he's not super duper fast but he is faster than this cat turn which I appreciate Ingrain, that is absolutely fine. You can ingrain all day. It's going to be a critical hit anyway. Ah, uh, not quite. Oh, boy. Good thing I'm faster, my lord. Oh, a full restore! Oh, that's terrible. Okay, I think I have to swap out again. Arrow. Ay, ay, ay. I mean, this fly will knock it out, but... There we go. Alright, Sebastian is no more. So we'll do this, bad boy. And... There's one other we gotta do here. So yes, we gotta do this, or maybe not. Yeah, because now I'm trapped. There we go, that's what I was trying to do. Um, let's see if Shellgon's going to immediately die. Oh, to a swallow? Probably, honestly. Ah, yes. Endeavor is not good. Um, Endeavor, interesting time to talk about this, is a, is a fascinating move. Endeavor is a move that makes it so your enemy's HP equals yours. So it's a way for, let's say, that Swellow was far lower level than us, it was able to do a lot of damage to make our HPs equal. Um, really, the great time to use it is when your opponent 
has full HP and you have very little HP because it can bring them all the way down no matter how much weaker you are. Um, let's see, Pelipa. That'll be great for Thunderbolt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Da -da. Huh. I'm really appreciating this tonight, guys, because um, it's just been kind of a long, tiring day. And uh, I love relaxing with uh, some Pokemon Emerald. Pokemon is a very just easygoing, relaxing game for me, which is why I'm always happy to, always happy to stream it. Um, it really is. It is delightful. I, uh, I calm down with video games all the time and that's kind of why I started doing this honestly just because um, it's pretty easy for me to pretty easy for me to share it um, oh how you feel about Stardew absolutely um, excuse me so now we just pop up here and we're done with this one trick master is my life trick master is my life um, absolutely Let's talk to this fellow. You're almost my equal in greatness. Mm, let's see. Ah, the magnet. That will power up the power of electric type moves. Could be useful on our Starmie, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. All right, so we only have one more trick house left. I'm going to heal the squad pretty really quick because I don't want to waste more of my potions. There we go. I'll just quiet this down right now. We're just getting nice and quiet here, gang. All right. Yeah, I'm going to sleep like an absolute rock tonight. Um, I'm just going to put Harry in front because Harry is just going to be in a really good position um, with the power that it has and the moves that it has to do well against some of these Pokemon that we're going to see that are a higher level than us. We might switch train with Altaria a little bit, but we'll see. All right, where are you here? I still couldn't see him. Oh, okay, he's still behind the window. He hides behind that window twice. That's interesting. All right, so this should be the last one. Um, this has been fun so far. I really like this. Um, okay, so like I said, you can see some of those statues and kind of warp panels, switchy panels, um, just like Tate and Liza's gym. And let's see what we can do. I'll have Arrow in because we have a double battle here. There we go. These might all be psychics and ghost people, uh, much like Tate and Liza's gym, so maybe I would want Metagross and his Shadow Ball out and about, but... All right, let's give us a try. Ah, dude, double battles are just, are just gosh darn delightful. I'm gonna see if we can get rid of that Cadaver ASAP. Okay, Future Sight, I'll take that. Curse, that's not too terrible. Who are you cursing? Don't curse Harry. Okay, that's good. So I will swap Arrow out of there. Good job. Still got a kill. Yeah, that's gonna hurt a little bit. Curse is such a cool move to me. Um, but we'll definitely take out the Binette. Really getting Tate and Liza vibes with the Soul Rock here. Um, yeah, and the double battles, that is one of the reasons why I like... Um, whoa, you started... Oh, okay, no, no never mind. Um, you started your Pokemon career with Ruby in, 20, in 2001, 2002. Yes, because they introduced double battles in Ruby and Sapphire... But Emerald, they, like, really emphasize it in a way that's so cool 
and so awesome. Um, Psywave, I will take that all... Whoa, okay, maybe I won't take that. Um, but, yeah, great. Um, that is great. I started my Pokemon career with Pokemon Yellow. Probably about... Oh, I don't know. When did it come out? 99, I guess. Um, but then in 2000 was Silver is when I became, you know... <laughs> Google says 2002, yes. Yeah, I think Emerald was 03, 04, because I know Fire Red and Leaf Green was in there too. Um, all right, so we all we all got some good levels there. Good levels, good money. Let me heal y'all. That'll work for now. I'm almost out of super potions. Yes, as you can see, there's another double battle there. Okay, so they will have to be moved eventually. Okay, that'll work. I don't remember which one of these go where. Okay, so that one takes me to the end. Um, I guess I'll have to do these these people one at a time. That's okay. Ba -ba -ba -da -da -da. Da, 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 da. Another Bennett. Let's see. Yeah, I figured you'd use Spite. Yeah, two Thunderbolts. That'll do the trick on Bennett. Love to see it. Um, Kadabra. That will be. You know, I think I'll use I'll use Arrow here because I think we can get a knockout with a headbutt. Um, okay. You're using Recover with full HP. That's going to be helpful. Mmm. And Future Sight. That's a win, baby. Love that. Good job, Arrow. Alright. Um. Yeah, we'll start with Stevie here. do ba do 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 I think this is a female psychic. Yes, it is. Ah, yes. We can just lob some shadow balls up here and just destroy you. There we go. Uh, Zatu, we'll stay in. We'll keep that shadow ball strategy going. Yeah, I think Emerald was 2003 after Ruby and Sapphire in 2002. And then Fire Red and Leaf Green was 2004. Oh, what a time that was. Um, Generation 3 is just so good. I'll use my last two Super Potions here. Because I want Arrow to be in a good spot. And that is okay. I can buy more. I also have Soda Pops still. And Potions are going to become a little bit less relevant as we... As we continue. Alright. So, which ones do we have here? I'm actually going to save. Just for funsies. Oh. I'll grab this mail. It's my last one. A Tropic Mail! How fun. There we go. There's that last double battle. Yeah, this one isn't too difficult. Excuse me, did, have I found the code though yet? I might be mistaken. Ooh, Wobbuffet. Okay. Always got to be careful with Wobbuffet. Um, I'm just going to confuse. Oh, no. We'll just focus on attacking Chimeco right now. Because um, Wobbuffet's just going to try to use some mirror coat strategy or counter. Oh, I love the way Heal Bell looks in this game. Um, it doesn't actually heal HP. I believe it heals status. Okay, Destiny Bond. That is okay. Um, we'll do that. And I'm just going to use Dragon Breath because it probably won't do that much damage and it might paralyze, which can be pretty helpful. There we go. Yeah, Wobbuffets are always tricky, man. Always tricky. 
that is why I use Dragon Breath. Um, let's do this. Ah, Shadow Tag, I forgot about that. Yeah, tricky, tricky boy. Ooh, I'll use Dragon Dance. There's the play. Because if I do this, I do I do a little Dragon Dance. Um, if I hit Wobbuffet with a Surf and a Powered Up Headbutt with Dragon Dance, we should be fine. Should be fine, especially with that. Alright. At least I'm hoping we're fine. I'm going for it. Let's see. Oh boy. Hit yourself. It did not. Arrow goes down. That is what I was trying to prevent, but it's okay. Not the biggest deal in the world. It's just very annoying. So now I'll see you later. There we go. Yeah, I don't know if I've actually talked to the scroll. Ah, yes, it looks like I gotta go down there to talk to the scroll. There we go. I knew I cleared the way, but I didn't actually get to it yet. And the way to get up there was on this side. There we go. All right. So what's the last code? Trickmaster is huggable. I don't know about that. I don't know about that one, Trickmaster. All right. Ah, you've made it to me. Hmm, you're sharp. It took me all night setting up arrows. You're my equal in greatness. We are finally his equal in greatness after all this time. <laughs> Definitely not creepy. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're right about that. Um, so we got a PowerPoint Max. That is really good. We can use that on one of our Battle Frontier moves. Um, like, for example, if we use that PowerPoint Max on Starmie's Thunderbolt, um, I'm pretty sure it would go all the way to 24 power points, which is great, because right now it's at 15. That is a whoo, huge, huge jump. Um, that's incredible. At least I'm pretty sure that's what it will go to. It'll go to something high. All right, well, folks, that's the, that's the trick house, baby. That is the trick house. Excuse me. Um, I'll just fly here for a second. So now we've got a little bit more time left. I think I might want to try one more thing before we go today. One more thing. Um, so, let's hop on our match call here. Ah, as you can see, we can uh, battle our father um, in a Pokemon match, in a in a rematch. But the one I saw earlier... Oh, we got Flannery, we got Winona. Okay, we can fight all these fools. Um, but the one I want to do first, I want to do Brawly. Um, I want to do some match call stuff. It'll help us get some money, help us train. Um, but I... <laughs> that's right. Um, but, uh... Yeah, I want to see what Wally's got. Um, now, these gym leader rematches are interesting because they are now all double battles. Am I going the right way? Yes, I am. So, all of these gym leader rematches are going to be double battles, and they're also all going to have um, some evolved Pokemon from Pokemon that they had. Um, some new Pokemon that uh, weren't previously available in the game. It's going to be super fun. So let's check this out. A wave may draw back, but it always returns to the shore. A giant wave of talent like you, I knew you would return. <laughs> All right. So as you can see, his Machop has evolved into Machamp. We're actually really on par level-wise. I actually like this a lot. Um, and I am going to go ahead and headbutt Metatite. It might still be trying to use uh, Focus Punch. I don't know if that's the case or not. It probably would have already done it by now, but... There we 
my gosh, take it out. Boom, baby. Um, and if you remember, ah, oh, yes, Brawly has a Hitmon top in this game. Oh, Hitmon top is one of my favorite Pokemon ever. I mean, name any Gen 2 Pokemon and it might be one of my favorites ever. All right, bulk up. We want to take care of this guy here quickly. Um, and especially since Hitmontop's ability lowered our, whatchamacallit, attack anyway. Ah, Machamp's trying to use Focus Punch. I thought that was going to be... Uh, oh, I'm glad we both attacked Machamp. Um, I thought that was only going to be Metatite. Uh, yeah, the rematches are doubles. It's really cool. Um... And I, I mean, I think Tate and Liza remains a double battle like it was originally. Um, all right, so that's fine. Ooh, we have a Citrus? Yes, indeed. All right, so we'll double up Machamp as well again. Yeah, Hitmontop is very much kind of like a support Pokemon. It's trying to use Protect again. And like, since it has that Intimidate ability, that's actually really good for it because um, it can lower that attack power. Um, as soon as it comes out. I know it was a popular competitive Pokemon for that reason, um, but gosh, I just love it. I think it's so cool. And if you remember Brawly's Makuhita, it's now all grown up. It's a Hariyama. Um, I'm gonna see if we can paralyze it. We'll just keep using Surf. Yeah, hit him on top really is just gonna keep protecting himself, so I'm not really even gonna worry about attacking it. Fake Out, if you recall, always hits first when it is the first move you use upon entering the battle. But that's the only time it works, so it's very, very niche, but it does always flinch, which is cool. And it seems like Brawly's strategy is a real focus punch heavy one, and that's not going to go very well for him. So this is actually going to be a pretty easy battle. We're not going to take much damage at all. Um, ooh, got the paralysis as well. Yeah. Ooh, counter. Okay. They both have citrus berries. That's interesting. Hmm. My boy Arrow should be faster than Hariyama with the paralysis now. It pained me to kill you, Hitmontop. I love you. And there you have it, baby. There you have it. Nice. Very, very good. Um, all right, so we defeated Leader Brawly. Swamped again. Gave us some good money. Thanks, bro. What does he say? Battling is vast and it's deep. You can't see the bottom. It's just like the Sea of Hoenn. Right you are, buddy. Right you are. Um, oops, I am going the wrong way. So with that, folks, I have a couple things that I need to take care of tonight. Um, before my big day tomorrow. Um, thank you so much for being here, Tainro. I have loved having you here. You've been so supportive over on YouTube. That's been really, really nice. Um, and thanks, uh, everyone who's been here. Cry as well. Um, happy to join. Thanks, thanks, buddy. Um, but with that, um, I will leave you. We will be back at some point. Could be Friday, could be tomorrow. I'm gonna see if I can keep my Saturday slot, but uh, stay tuned on that. I'll update it in the Discord. Um, and if you haven't joined the Discord, you can. Um, if you look below, there should be a Discord invite link that you can click on. Um, oh, sorry, Clo. <laughs> I shout you out too. <laughs> I shout you out too. I shout you out. Um, but. Uh, uh, anyway, I will see y'all when I see y'all, and thanks for being here tonight. Peace out, kiddos.